Okay, you guys, we are going to um, need to set up some more drums and uh, make sure there are sticks in there and weights. Don't bring something that doesn't have a weight or sticks in it. I'm Babette Bowling, and I'm the founder and director of Raise the Bar Drumline. We're just kind of warming up with choreography. This is the chorus. You will follow. Uh, uh. So what do you think? Is it doable or not? Yes or no? I uh, asked the kids. I said, well, you know, what do you want to call yourselves? You know, is it West Side Middle School Drumline? Or do we want to think on a little bit bigger terms and hope that we can invite others to join us? And um, they said, yeah, you know, so they voted and they came up with Raise the Bar Drumline. And I like it because I think it just says, you know, let's wake up every day and let's raise the bar. Let's not just survive life, let's thrive. Let's put that bar high and then let's go for it. Raise the Bar Drumline is fitness combined with great brain work, combined with great community social skills. I was looking for something that I thought, you know, how can I get kids to want to move? You know, instead of saying, okay, you've got to do this, you've got to do that. I wanted them to say, you know, whoa, I want to go to drumline. I want to go and exercise. And I thought, oh my goodness, drumming. Kids love to hit stuff. It is the whole package. I've been looking for 30 years to find something like this. You guys remember the days when we just kind of did exercises? And we didn't drum and it was just absolutely just... All it was, it was just exercise, wasn't it? But now we do fun exercise, right? Oh. When we go to practice, usually we just give our all through about an hour, and then we're going and eat, and we'll learn about how to eat healthy because not only are we focusing on getting movement, but we also want to focus on how we eat because that is also a part of a healthy life. We want to be careful about how what we're putting in our bodies. It doesn't take this major deal. It can be just one little thing that can make a huge difference over time, yeah? Not only do they have the drumming, but they get to come in and, and it's like a revolving door in the front door. It's, it's really never closed. It's um, an opportunity for the kids to come here and, and just be a part of the family. The bet is all hard. <laughs> How big is the bet heart? It's, it's like this. I like, I can't even wrap around it. It's so big. There's a lot of kids that have anger issues from their backgrounds. They have ADD issues. This is an absolutely researched program that shows with the different waves in our brains and how drumming and, and rhythm affects that, it can actually give them a better outlook on life, it can actually create more focus, and it doesn't matter what your background is, it can have, and that can happen for everyone. Being here, it keeps me out of trouble. She helps me understand what I need to get done and what's the main focus, but like when I was out, it's like I didn't, I didn't really know. Here is like, I'm, I don't know, like I'm home. And each child's story, just like in life or in our church family, everybody kind of affects everybody else. They're suddenly looking beyond themselves. Bebet teaches us not only um, to get active and to not like be a couch potato, but she teaches us life lessons and things that can help us when we get older. How do we stay accountable <coughs> on the outside if we are kind of failing to uphold our code of conduct outside of here? How do we, how do you think we need to stay accountable? I've always appreciated how much she's inspired me to go forth and be able to give what I have that God's given me to express it with other people. There is a need for the village approach to raising kids in our community. There's a lot of kids that are falling through the cracks that we need to make sure um, if we're just paying attention, what can we do? Look at how Granger started. You know, and, and they planted a church and they just, they affected one person, one family at a time. Babbitt teaches us to be a community in everything we do. Like even when we sit down and do team leadership together, it teaches all of us that we can work together and make a church outside of the church. You know what I think church is? It reminds me of a great big pep session and we're all getting charged up to go out and be the church. When Pastor Beeson said, I want you to go out and be the church. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like ready to go. Like, like I'll be glad to lead the, lead the charge because I need to come here to get fired up, to remind myself 
of what our purpose and our mission is, and then go out and do it. Yeah,